All right, let's get into Japanese candlesticks. First off, a Japanese candlestick has a body to it. And it's usually in the shape of a rectangle of some sorts. Now this is going to be a body of a stock that went higher on the day, okay? Now you gotta remember, Japanese candlesticks are helping you to interpret price movements in a particular time period. This can represent a five minute time period, this can represent a daily, a weekly, or even a monthly or yearly chart. This is going to be the open price, and then you have a closing price. Remember, this is only pertaining to a stock or any vehicle that you're trading, it could be futures, but it refers to a day where the closing price is higher than the opening price. So it's the day where the stock goes higher. Then you have the upper shadow and the lower shadow. Now what are these shadows? Okay, this shadow represents the high of the day. This represents the low price of the day. And what happens when a stock goes down? Well then you have a completely different candle in how you are supposed to interpret it. Of course you still have the body, but how you interpret it will be different. This body, when it's a down day, will be filled in. Now, of course, every charting platform has its own settings. So for some, you can make this to where the candles are green on a day where it goes higher and red when it goes lower. But typically, a down day will have a filled candle. So what makes this different is that this is going to be your open price on top and your closing price is going to be on the bottom. Just like with a positive candle, your negative candles will have the same kinds of shadows where this represents the high price of the day and this is going to represent the low price of the day. Pretty simple, right? Now some apps or some applications and charting platforms, they're not gonna make a difference with the, with the bodies. The bodies will be just green when it's a positive day. They may even just make the shadows green, just like so. And for a negative day, it'll just be red. And it'll just fill it right in the shadows there. Now, most of your charting platforms are going to give you the options, so it's basically really a personal preference of how you want it to look. Now this is where it can kind of get interesting because a day where a stock finishes higher can actually have a, a day where the open price is higher than the closing price. So let's say a stock goes up on day one and it just has a normal candle body, okay? We know that this is your open price, this was your closing price. Now let's say the next day the stock reports earnings and it opens way up here but it kind of fades throughout the entire day. Well, technically it had a positive day in terms of finishing higher, but the closing price is way below the opening price. So you will see this candle filled in like so, show that it was a negative day in terms of where the closing price came in relative to the opening price. Or sometimes they may still even just color it green. So it'll, it'll, it'll look like this here. Yes, I'm just gonna draw right all over this thing. So these are things that you need to know when it comes to charting that these charts can be customized to your liking. I kind of like it better like this. If it's a positive day, regardless of where the open and closing price is, I still want to know that it was a positive day. So I don't necessarily want it to be a red candle, so I, I make my settings reflect that. Now, I mentioned earlier you can have candlesticks of all shapes and sizes, and we'll go over a few right now. Sometimes they don't even have a shadow. They can just be a huge rectangle. And in this case where it's not filled, that means this is your open, this is your close, but there's no shadow. It just simply opened at the lows and it and it finished at the highs of the day. This is considered a very aggressive move higher because there was never really much of a pullback. Now sometimes you can have a lot of indecision but have a large shadow on both the upper shadow and the lower shadow and it's going to show indecision for a stock and it can be filled in or it cannot be filled in. But either way it, it's going to mark indecision for the stock where investors are just unsure where it wants to take things going forward. You can also have candles where there is a very large shadow on one side but not the other. So in this case you have a hammer candle. You can also have an inverted hammer. That's just where you have one long upper shadow. Sometimes you don't even really have a body at all and we talked about that earlier where it's just one very thin line but one large upper shadow and that would be considered a graystone doji or you have your dragonfly doji. That's just a very large shadow underneath, no body. So there you have it. You have a, a basic understanding of what candles look like in the stock market, how you read them, what do they mean, 
in other videos that I do, you can see where I get into the patterns and, and what these things mean in, in greater detail. So be sure to check a lot of those out.